We're talking about the life and safety of people that have been getting killed and murdered and have been ignored. Nobody sees them. Nobody goes in. We see declination rates with prosecution and the best that we can get to getting answers to this from the United States Department of Justice is, let me look at this. Let me look at this. Let me think about this. That's not how the administration should work with the legislative branch in, in the United States Senate. I don't understand this. I'm going to maybe get back to my line of questioning so that I can lower my blood pressure, Mr. Chairman. Let me but I just don't understand why it's so hard to get a yes or no on. We're going to give you what we got. The staff were answering questions. I want them in writing so we can hold people accountable. Senator Lujan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Director Randall, last month, other members of this committee and I sent a letter to the Department of Justice on declination rates in Indian country, which in 2021 stood at 18%. Uh, I appreciate that agency staff briefed us on this matter, but I fully expect a written response to all seven questions in my letter. Will you make sure that I get those responses in writing? Senator, I presume that we can get you and Mr. Schatz all of the uh, all of the answers in writing for everything that we have available. I like yes and no's. Is <laughs> the answer yes or no? Well, I don't work on those, so I can't say yes. We'll absolutely be taking it back to my colleagues at the Office of I Legislative Affairs. I appreciate that, Affairs. Ms. Randall. Look, I, Mr. Chairman, if I may, please. this notion of the line of question that you asked for from the administration to get data back should not take a subpoena. We're talking about the life and safety of people that have been getting killed and murdered and have been ignored. Nobody sees them. Nobody goes in. We see declination rates with prosecution. And the best that we can get to getting answers to this from the United States Department of Justice is, let me look at this. Let me think about this. That's not how the administration should work with the legislative branch in, in the United States Senate. I don't understand this. I'm going to maybe get back to my line of questioning so that I can lower my blood pressure, Mr. Chairman. Let me but I just don't understand why it's so hard to get a yes or no on, we're going to give you what we got. The staff were answering questions. I want them in writing so we can hold people accountable. Senator Lujan, um, you wrote a letter to the Department of Justice. And they owe you... members from this sub. And they, they owe you an answer in writing. My question, just to be fair, my question was about data collection. And I'm a, I was assuming that Ms. Randall was hedging a little bit because she doesn't know exactly what data exists. I found it irritating, but at least explainable. But when a member reduces to writing a question or a series of questions, it is not, I presume we will get back to you, but we will get back to you. There is a difference between the thing I was asking for and the thing Senator Lujan is asking for. I am certain that we will be getting back to you in writing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Department of Justice is required under the Tribal Law and Order Act to submit a yearly report to Congress on Indian country investigations and prosecutions. Is that one of your responsibilities? That is not one of my responsibilities, Senator. The last time the Department of Justice published covered data from, was from 2021. Are you familiar with this requirement to the Department of Justice? Yes, I have uh, looked at that report. Have you, has, has anyone shared with you when Congress might get the next report since the last one we received was of uh, information going back to 2021? If I'm correct, it's 2024 now. Uh, yes, Senator. That is in clearance right now. So, the, so soon? Soon. So I'll assume as soon we'll get that information. I appreciate that. Um, Assistant Secretary Newland, I, I've heard from several uh, Pueblos and leaders in New Mexico um, when there's efforts to try to cross commission uh, tribal police, BIA officers with uh, sheriff's offices or things of that nature, that it cannot be secured uh, because of concerns of liability or things of that nature. I'm assuming from the local law enforcement agencies that there's 
a, a, a limited liability for cost commissioning of BIA or tribal officers. So the question that I have for you is, yes or no, are BIA 638 tribal law enforcement officers and other justice staff covered under the Federal Tort Claims Act for liability purposes? Are, are BIA officers? Yes. Are 638 tribal law enforcement officers? I believe so. I can confirm uh, afterwards. And Justice Half, I'm, the reason I'm interested here, if maybe we can, I'll submit that in writing, is I want to provide assurance to the local law enforcement agencies in New Mexico that in fact there is coverage because I shared the same concern that Mr. Hoven was just raising and that members of this committee have been raising in the lower numbers of law enforcement and communities. And when I was younger, I, I remember cross-commissioning being an important tool, and there was more of a presence where everyone was working to keep communities safer. I, I felt safer. I'm concerned now if there's um, some rationale that reduces that. So I'm hoping that we can provide that certainty going forward, and if there is anything missing um, in tort law, that maybe it's something we could consider, find some bipartisan solutions to this, and, and see if we can help uh, in this particular area. We, we can get that to you, Senator. I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Senator Lujan. Vice Chair Murkowski.